YouTube, what is going on? It is your boy Brandon back with another banger video. You already know what it is, man. Y'all know the drill, man. But if you're new here, make sure you guys are hitting that thumbs up button for your boy, subscribing to the channel, and hitting that notification bell. So when I do drop a new video, you, yes, you will be the first one notified. But with that being said, man, let's get into today's video, which is a review or just talking about this sneaker that I recently picked up, man. I got this sneaker off of Snipes. If you don't know what Snipes is, it's basically like a Foot Locker, that type of retail store, you feel me? So this sneaker right here, I happened to get at a price point of $120 which I know for some people is a lot, right? I know that's a lot for some people because at the end of the day, that's 120 bucks, you feel me? But this sneaker retails for $180. So to get this for 120 with tax, by the way, I thought was a steal, especially for this shoe. But let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions down below after you guys see this sneaker or right now, whenever. Just make sure y'all leave a comment, you feel me? But with that being said, man, here is the box. As you guys can see, it is not the original uh, Jordan box. You got that black with the blue. Super, super nice in my opinion. I thought it was dope that they did that. But here is the size tag right here. And you guys can see that it is a size nine. So this is a personal. But with that being said, let's read the box tag, which reads Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG, black, royal, blue, and white. Again, this is a size nine, so this is a personal. Take off the lid right here. You see the stamp right there. And let's take these bad boys out, man. I know this has extra tissue paper, so you don't get to see the sneaker right away. But uh, yeah, man, let's take these boys out. Woo! I really, we gonna, we gonna talk about it right now. We gonna talk about it right now. Right off the bat. Oh, there is extra laces. I lied, y'all, I lied. So inside the right sneaker, at least for this pair, it comes with some extra laces, which is the blue laces to match the royal blue, man. And here it is, the Jordan 1 High reimagined in the royal colorway. Honestly, these colors pop, man. I'm not going to lie. These colors, honestly, they, they pop. I mean, just look at it. It looks nice, especially in the camera. You feel me? Again, 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 if you are interested in this sneaker, this is the Jordan 1 High uh, OG Reimagined Royal. So yes, this is part of the Reimagined series, right? You have the Chicago Reimagined, you got the threes, the Reimagined White Cement. You, like, they're doing Reimagined sneakers now. So they happen to do these in the Royal colorway. You got that blue on the outsole, super, super nice white midsole. Honestly, just looking at the sneaker, it is honestly really nice. Um, I mean, I think this the sneaker just didn't do well, obviously, because it's going for way less than retail. It's because of the material. But honestly, the material is not that bad. Honestly, though, looking at the sneaker, I don't know why it... It's going like less than than retail. Like I understand the material is not what everybody wanted because obviously this is a reimagined pair, right? So you figured they would have like the same materials or I don't know. Actually, I don't know because they gave us the Chicago one reimagined, which had like the cracked leather and that vintage look. And I think if they would have did that exact same thing for this pair, it would have been doing numbers, you feel me? But since like the OG is leather, I think people probably wanted this to be leather, but obviously this is suede. I mean, this is not the material that people wanted. So I'm assuming that is why this shoe didn't do numbers. But honestly, like looking at it, it still has that nice look. I think the material is honestly not that bad. Obviously like it is suede, so it is different, but personally, I'm still gonna rock this sneaker. At the end of the day, it's a nice sneaker. But I don't know, man. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Is this a shoe that you would wear, even though it is suede? Is this something that you're not really rocking with? I mean, just let me know down below in the comments. If you guys don't know, 
I respond to every single comment. I might not get to it right away, but eventually I will. You feel me? And it doesn't have to be about this sneaker. It doesn't have to be about sneakers at all. You can just chop it up with me. You feel me? Also hit that subscribe button though. If you're not subscribed yet, I mean, come on, bro. I asked you to do it at the beginning of the video. It's free support. Like just hit the button. It's simple, it's simple. But either way, let's get back to the sneaker, man. You got the sneaker right here. Super, super nice in my opinion. Comes with extra laces. I mean, there's nothing else more to say, really. Like, I mean, this is, okay, yeah. I do wish it was leather, obviously. But like I said, if it was leather, it would be go it would be doing numbers. But since it's not, I think that's why it isn't doing numbers. But just looking at the sneaker, like, I personally think it's nice. Um, I think for the price point that I got it at, it is a steal. Like, I think it's a steal. Um, but also you never know, right? Like you never know, like a shoe like this in a couple years or whatever can skyrocket. Like, let's be real. A lot of shoes that were in the outlets before COVID hit, like a lot of those made money, right? Like, especially resale, they made, they ended up making money. So it's just one of those games like you never really know, but I do think that this sneaker has potential to be one of those shoes that like kind of hits us out of nowhere. Like if sneakers start to get like the hype that they did during COVID times or cause it always goes like up and down, right? So sneakers are eventually gonna get hyped up again. And I think this is one that if you hold on to it will definitely be like a shoe that people will pay resale for just because like I said, it is part of the reimagined series, which is has, it's been doing pretty good the reimagined series. And then just the colorway, like the Royal blue, I mean, I, I think it's nice, like, especially for the summer. I think I can see a lot of people rocking this shoe. Nice and simple. So you never know, man. I think for the price point that I got it at, though, I, I'm happy with it. Um, and yeah, you just never know. So I do think that this shoe will eventually, probably not anytime soon, to be honest. But I think eventually it'll at least go back up to retail. But I do think that it has potential to do some numbers in the future when sneakers start to get hype again. But again, let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below. Again, this is the Jordan 1 High OG Royal Blue, which is part of the, the Reimagine series. Dope sneaker, though. Dope sneaker. I'll rock it. Probably not now. Maybe in the summer. Um, but I had to. For the sale, for the price point, I had to. You feel me? But yeah, just wanted to show you guys this little pickup that I recently got. Again, let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below. I appreciate y'all. Those of you that keep tuning into the videos, y'all got a special, special place in my heart. And if you don't, it's okay. Just as long as you hit the subscribe button, it is okay. I'll still love you. I promise. And literally, it's free support. It's literally free to support. You feel me? It just helps. So if you don't know why people push hitting the subscribe button, it's because the more that you guys subscribe, it helps the algorithm. So it'll put like my videos like on other people's recommended and stuff like that you feel me so it's literally free support as i say in previous videos even if you never want to see another one of my videos again if you don't want to see this face again it is okay just make sure you hit that subscribe button you can mute me after i really don't care just hit the subscribe button please but if you keep watching me i love you <laughs> but anyways that is it for this video mi gente mi gente mi gente los quiero mucho it is your boy Brandon and I am signing out. Peace.